I think, if anything, the culture or the agriculture has probably been more resistant to this sort of commodification than uh, a lot of other fields. Where uh, it's really, it's really taken, it took capital centuries in order to commodify basic aspects of farming. Um, and like a, a really, the classic example is sort of the hybrid seed, where I mean, if you think about like in about 1900, your seed companies mostly sold seeds to like leafy green plants that where the seeds were aren't directly harvested. Um, and because seeds, like a corn seed, you know, it, uh, the plant makes new seeds and the farmer doesn't really need to buy seeds or hadn't for thousands of years, you know. Uh, to plant the square seeds and plant the next seeds, the next cycle of crops. Uh, and agriculture in India has these sort of biological barriers to commodification. Uh, and it took capital uh, a long time to break it down. One way they did was through hybridization, uh, basically creating seeds where the, uh, that can be replanted from one year to the next. any sort of this robot technology they haven't really been able to make it increase the yield size in a big way so it's truly just to replace uh, replace workers that replace driver workers is driving with a phone in their hands and also, you know, alpha uniform uniform 7186 but like that gives labor, labor is a little bit of power to sort of stop the process. And if they go on strike or something, they can really um, have a tremendous impact across the supply chain. You're